Now the ability to persevere, it's admired in all societies. I mean, perseverance is necessary to overcome obstacles. Some obstacles, they require a tremendous amount of time and effort to conquer, there's no doubt. And without perseverance, you're just gonna not last long enough to taste success. We're gonna talk about that a little bit more here today as we continue the series on overcoming obstacles. So if you have a habit of, of giving up too quickly, what's well, gonna benefit you to increase your willpower and definitely your discipline. I know it doesn't sound fun, but it is productive, all right? So build your willpower. Here we go for a few steps. I got five today. Number one, willpower is often in short supply but it's easy to build. The easiest way to build willpower is to challenge it each day. And whenever you feel like stopping an activity, do this, force yourself to continue for a few more minutes. Make two more phone calls or, or pay two more bills, that'd be great. Read five more pages. You'll be surprised by how quickly your willpower is gonna grow. So use your willpower to accomplish smaller tasks successfully. Don't go for the whole big enchilada. Take a little bit at a time. If you want the capacity to stay strong in the midst of great obstacles, practice, like I said, on smaller obstacles. Do what needs to be done in your everyday life, right? So what are some of those things? Like pay your bills on time, not a bad idea. Clean out the garage when necessary. Don't let my wife hear this part of the video. <laughs> Exercise regularly. Don't let my wife hear this part of the video. All right, empty the dishwasher. Let my kids hear this part of the video for sure. And uh, maybe like file your taxes early. We're at that time of the season right now. Knock it out. If you're in America, get it done. Take, take care of your taxes. You're gonna strengthen gradually over time. Big obstacles, now they can be overwhelming. I know from personal experience, I'm going through a lot of it in my life now, but if you're good at controlling yourself, and really overcoming smaller obstacles, you'll find that you can overcome big obstacles as well. Number two, right? Learn, learn to be uncomfortable. That sounds fun too, right? Asking, asking about the, the great looking person, like asking out the great looking person, what I meant to say, ask that great person out, it seems like a hard thing to do. Or maybe running 10 miles, or making 100 cold calls, or moving across the country. They're all uncomfortable activities. You know, they all have potential to change your life. Now, comfortable activities are really unlikely to overcome a significant obstacle. If it's easy, it's easy. Your success is limited by your willingness to deal with discomfort. Your success is limited by your willingness to deal with discomfort. Get excited when you experience discomfort. Man, this is awesome, this sucks so bad. Something wonderful is about to happen, right? All right, number three, stay focused on the result. It's really easy to become overwhelmed if you focus on the obstacle. So spend time visualizing how great it will be once that obstacle has been defeated. Allow yourself to feel good. There's nothing wrong with that. Go for it. Go for the end. Quit worrying about all the little stuff at the beginning. All right, number four, stay present. This is for you, KJ Wong. <laughs> Staying grounded in the moment is helpful in multiple areas of your life. Now, writing a big report for your boss is simply sitting down and moving your hands. In many ways, it's no different from sitting down and playing cards with your friends. You know, much of the grief you experience is the result of your own thoughts. We do some things to ourselves sometimes and drives ourselves crazy. You think things like, this stinks or I should have gone to medical school, medical school after all, or I'm never going to get this done. Doggone it, why did I do this? Right? Uh, I hate writing reports. I don't want to do these things either. We can so easily do those types of things. You're guaranteed to be miserable and struggle to finish. Now, simply take a deep breath and do what's necessary without emotional content. Number five, give something up. Mm. A great way to build your willpower is to give up a bad habit. It might be smoking or uh, eating too many sweets <laughs> or biting your nails. 
Huh? Take it one day at a time and resist your urges. It can be just as challenging to avoid an action as it is to take one. <laughs> now, willpower is the ability to do something you don't feel like doing. <laughs> it's a valuable commodity. And with enough willpower, it's easy to save money, to stop procrastinating, and overcome obstacles. Time spent building your willpower is time well spent. I hope these five tips have been helpful for you today. I'll put it in an article form here on LinkedIn as well so you can read through it and maybe break it down a little faster or a little slower for yourself and be able to go through some of those things. Now, if you're experiencing the joy of overcoming obstacles in your life and, and not exactly doing so well with it, I'm your guy. Here's the deal. I have a program called The Flip to flip the script on your life. I'm promising you that there's some great things I have available to help you to do that because I'm here to help you overcome life obstacles so that you can achieve your number one goal and experience a life of abundance because there's so many great things that are available for you because you have so many great things in you for everybody else. I'd love to help you investigate that, dig deep into it, and then achieve it. If you'd like that, give me a shout. I'd love to talk with you about that. We'll set up an appointment about getting in a one-on-one -on -one coaching relationship with me. I have tons of resources here on LinkedIn. You can visit my website as well at mattcrump.tv where you can get a lot more uh, information about me and what I do for you at that site as well. And I'd love to help you some more. So stay tuned. We've got more coming up in the series, Overcoming Obstacles. Without. <laughs>